Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, in this video, we're going to answer a really curious and interesting question, which is why does n choose k show up when we do binomial expansion using the binomial theorem, aka the binomial expansion formula? Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to expand binomials like this using Pascal's triangle when the number n is manageable, say like 7, 8, 9, 10, or even 20. But when n is really large, then Pascal's triangle is an impractical approach. Let me demonstrate. Um, yes, I know the question we have to answer is up here, um, but uh, we need to do these uh, few things um, before we get to answering the question. So like, if we're doing x plus y to the power 4, what I said is like, if you're using Pascal's triangle, in that video uh, where I showed you how to do this, we said like you'd lay down um, these numbers from Pascal's triangle, and what they're telling you is the coefficients, right? That's what Pascal's, I'll be more specific, but what Pascal's triangle allows you to do is find the coefficients in a binomial expansion. So, like this first row, right? Rows are horizontal, remember? This first row is for a plus b to the power 0. This next row is for a plus b to the power 1, a plus b to the power 2, a plus b to the power 3, and clearly this last one is for a plus b to the power 4, right? And so you know that if you're doing x plus y to the power 4, as soon as you've laid down this row, you're good. And so what you do is like you'd be like 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And what I always tell students is like a starts with all the power. So this is going to be 1 times a to the power 4, and b is to the power 0, but we won't bother writing that because that's 1. And then a loses 1 power, so that, and then b gains that lost power. And then um, right, um, a loses 1 more, and b gains uh, 1 more, and you get it. Right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you'd be done as soon as you write this down if you're doing a plus b to the power 4. And of course, the only difference when you're doing x plus y to the power 4 is instead of a, you'd have an x. Instead of b, you'd have a y, right? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So this is what Pascal's triangle is good for. But as I said, if you're doing a plus b to the power 100, well, you don't want to keep writing Pascal's triangle. So what do you do? Well, you use what's called the binomial expansion formula, right? And so um, that's the binomial theorem. And in a previous video, I don't just show you the binomial theorem, I show you how to prove it. And it's a really cool proof, so check that out. And so what I showed you in that video is how to prove the fact that a plus b to the power n is equal to uh, the sum from uh, k equals 0 to n of um, n choose k, and then it's a to the power n minus k, and it's b to the k. So I showed you how to prove this, which again is called the binomial theorem, aka the binomial expansion formula. And again, the question we're trying to answer in this video is, why does n choose k, which is the same as this, these are just two different ways of denoting n choose k. So the question is, why does n choose k show up in binomial expansion? Why is this there, is the question, yeah? Okay, now, in another video I previously made, I introduced n choose k, aka also known as combinations. So I explained what n choose k does, and what I said in that video, which is um, is this, which is that like um, whether you denote it like this or you denote it like this, I just prefer this denotion because it's simpler and yeah. But anyway. Um, either way you write it, what n choose k does is it figures out the number of ways to pick k items at a time from n items. So how many ways are there to choose k items at a time from n items? That's what n choose k answers. So why does it show up here? That's the question, right? Okay. Well, you see, if we look at the binomial theorem, uh, we have a clue as to why n choose k is there. Notice that the k is an exponent on the b, right? And so uh, in each term, what the n choose k is doing is it's figuring out how many b's or how many y's to choose out of n possible x's and y's. I'll be more specific with an example. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, 
since here we're doing um, um, x plus y, not a plus b, as I said, I'll have to change all the a's to x's and all the b's to y's. It's not a big deal, right? Okay. Um, but I am saying uh, that uh, this, which we did using uh, Pascal's triangle, can be done using clearly. It can be done using the binomial theorem. And, um, and so if we use the binomial theorem to expand x plus y to the power 4, what we do is like, we'd be like, we'd be like 4 choose 0, because then we're saying n is 4. And so since k starts with 0, we start with um, 4 choose 0. And then it's going to be a to the 4 minus 0. That's the a to the n minus k, and then b to the k, b to the 0. Notice, um, since we're using x and y, this is x and this is y, but otherwise we have x to the 4th, y to the 0. That's exactly the same as this. So this is just x to the 4th, y to the 0, right? And I'll write the y to the 0 that I didn't write there, but yeah. 4 choose 1 is next. And then it's x to the 4 minus 1, which is 3, y to the 1st, and then plus uh, 4 choose 2, x squared, y squared, plus 4 choose 3, x cubed y, plus 4 choose 4, um, x to the 0, sorry, this is, this is x y cubed, rather, x to the 0, and then y to the power 4, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now... Um, we know from the video on n choose k that um, n choose n, which is the same as n choose 0, is equal to 1, right? And so 4 choose 0 is 1. That's easy check. 4 choose 4 is 1. Because the coefficients uh, here and here for each term must match. So 4 choose 1 better be equal to 4, and 4 choose 3 best also equal to 4. Notice that we're saying 4 choose 1 is equal to 4 choose 3. Ah, so this kind of explains why when you're drawing Pascal's triangle, all, all the um, even number rows have exact symmetry, and all the odd number rows have symmetry if you remove the number in the middle. I'll say a little bit more about that, but this is what I'm saying. Like 4 choose 1 being equal to 4 choose 3 is why you see some symmetry in Pascal's triangle. But it's also because um, in a different video, I proved that 4 choose k in general is equal to, um, sorry, not 4 choose k, n choose k in general is equal to n choose n minus k. We know that this is true in general, right? So then it comes as no surprise that 4 choose 1 is equal to 4 choose 3. 7 choose 3 is equal to 7 choose 4, and yada, yada. That's what this is saying, right? OK. But I'll um, explain the symmetry that you see in Pascal's triangle from a slightly different angle and answering this question, which we're finally getting to. So we're about to answer this question. Um, but you know, like you're also reviewing a lot of other stuff, so there's nothing lost. So if we zoom in on this 4 choose 2, we know that 4 choose 2 must equal 6. Now, we know that um, 4 choose 2, so uh, either way we write it, we know that this is equal to, by the n choose k formula, it's n factorial, so that's 4 factorial, over k factorial times n minus k factorial. And so that's going to say 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So that's 3 factorial, which is 6. Good, good, good. We just checked that 4 choose 2 is in fact 6, so these two coefficients do match. That's good. But again, why is n choose k here? Why is there a 4 choose 2 here? Well, I will specifically talk about this 4 choose 2. Notice that what we have is x squared, y squared. So in this part, the 4 choose 2 is saying, how many ways are there to choose two y's out of four possible x's and y's? So if you choose two y's, out of 4, then the other two are automatically x's. Yeah? And we're saying that um, out of 4, if you choose two y's, there are six ways to do that. Here are all six ways to choose two y's out of 4. That's yy um, xx. So this is x squared, y squared, or y squared, x squared, however you want to see it. And it's the same as this, right? All right? And so this is one way to make x squared y squared or y squared x squared. But um, here's another way to make it, which is um, so I could go x, x, y, y. 
notice that all I did is like, you know, I changed these two y's to x's and these two x's are y's. Okay, um, and then I could also have this x, y, y, x, or I could have y, x, x, y. Notice there's like a link between these two and a link between these two. It's like the y's and the x's swapping rows. And then one more is x, y, x, y. And so, of course, this is followed by y, x, y, x. And these are all the different ways to pick two y's and therefore to automatically pick two x's out of four, um, which is uh, what the exponents have to add up to. Notice that 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is 4, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 1. And this has to be true on when you add the exponents. They have to be equal to this number if you're doing your binomial expansion correctly. Yeah, OK. So this, uh, I'm saying, um, explains the symmetry because, well, like, so, so if instead we're doing um, x plus y to the power 5, right, then um, um, the uh, fifth line in Pascal's triangle, the fifth line, I didn't misspeak, the fifth line would be like, what well, we had had, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This is the fifth line because, remember, Pascal's triangle starts with the a plus b to the 0 line. That's a single 1 at the top of Pascal's triangle. OK, cool, cool. And so then the sixth line in Pascal's triangle would be like 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1, right? So this is the fifth line, and this is the sixth line. and. Uh, First, this is the symmetry I was talking about. All the odd numbered rows in Pascal's triangle have uh, a symmetry if you like ignore the middle number because then you get 4, 1 here, 4, 1 here. And all the even numbered rows have exact symmetry about the middle. 10, 5, 1, 10, 5, 1. And this symmetry is explained uh, basically by this other than the n k property that I showed you earlier. It's explained by this because, well, you see for x plus y to the fifth, when we get to this guy, what we're doing is we're doing 5 choose, um, we're choosing y's, right? So like it, this would have been 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2. So we're doing 5 choose 3 here. Number of rows and Pascal's triangle have uh, a symmetry if you like ignore the middle number because then you get 4, 1 here, 4, 1 here. And all the even numbered rows have exact symmetry about the middle. 10, 5, 1, 10, 5, 1. And this symmetry is explained uh, basically by this, other than the n k property that I showed you earlier. It's explained by this because, well, you see for x plus y to the fifth, when we get to this guy, what we're doing is we're doing 5 choose, um, we're choosing y's, right? So like it, this would have been 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2. So we're doing 5 choose 3 here.